Hey everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, Season 2, Episode 19. 10,000 subscribers, everybody. Round of applause for the great fans we have. There we go. <sighs> Sounds like a siren's in the back. Guys, we did it. 10,000 subscribers. Wow. Uh, that's been a goal since I started this here podcast three some odd years ago. And we finally did it. And I want to say thank you to everybody. Uh, the next goal is the next goal. I don't know what it is, but as long as y'all keep coming back every week and supporting and watching, I will be forever grateful and I love you to all the fans I've met and to all the fans that have DM'd me saying congratulations on 10,000 subscribers. Thank you. I should be uh, congratulating y'all because y'all are the support system. Y'all are the reason that we hit 10,000 subscribers, but you know the drill. Before we get into the podcast, if you're looking below you right now and you see that subscribe button isn't pressed, you're wrong. If you look even more below that and you see that comment section isn't fulfilled with your name, guess what? Even more wrong. You belong behind the prison. It's okay if it's your first time and you're confused. I'm hitting you like a flashbang right now. You don't know what's going on. Just look below. You see that subscribe button? Go ahead and hit that. Join the family. You know what I mean? Go below there. Say your name. Say where you're from. Just say hello. Say cabbage is yellow on a Thursday afternoon. It doesn't matter. As long as you're commenting, you're part of the family. Also, the lovely fans here at the You Should Know Podcast, have started a Discord. There is a Discord for the You Should Know Podcast. It's called the PSH8 Server. The link will be in the description below. So if you want to join the family, get exclusive content, Some like every day I go in there, I'm just saying, hello, guys, what's up? There's only a few people in there right now, the people who started this Discord, and I typed in the Discord today that I'm going to be shouting them out. So shout out to the pioneers of this Discord, Nick, Purcell, Nicole, Daniela, Lily, and Jaden. Those are the OGs. This Discord, I feel like, has a lot of potential. We can do a lot of great things in this Discord. Y'all can be involved in the podcast. Y'all can give me suggestions. Y'all could put in clips in there and be like, this was my favorite part. What about y'all? What did y'all think when Peyton did this weird thing? Did you see him sweating from his under pit area? I did. Watch it right here. I got a screenshot. This is going to be great. It's a great way for me to connect with y'all. Co-host Cam will be in that Discord as well. I don't really know too much about Discord. I'm an old man at heart. I don't know what's going on with all this new technology with the kiddos, but I'm trying to learn. You know what I mean? I'm in the Discord. Y'all might get some like random like butt dial type of things going on in there, but as long as y'all are in there having a good time, I'm going to have a good time. And I don't want it to be a thing where it's like, we're just going to wait on Peyton to talk. No, no, no. I want this to be a community. I want the You Should Know podcast to be a community. I want y'all to network with each other, talk amongst yourselves. Also, later in the podcast, we're going to be doing a fan Q&A with your video submissions that you sent me on Instagram. You have to be following me on Instagram at PSH8. Let's get that to 10,000. That can be our next goal. How about that? Let's do that. 10,000 followers on Instagram. We're rounding the curve right now. We're hitting third base right now. Let's hit third base and then hit home to 10,000 followers on Instagram. You can send your video submissions in there and you'll be on the podcast. I think that's it. We got co-host Cam on the podcast today. It's going to be a great episode, a lot of fun. Uh, once again, thank you for 10,000 subscribers. Let's keep this going. Let's keep the momentum. I love you all so much with every fiber and being in my body. Let's get to the podcast. The you Should Know Podcast. Hey, is crotch discomfort hurting your game? Fear no more. The kings of crotch comfort Manscaped has spent two years designing the most comfortable boxer briefs out there. Sleek, soft, comfortable, and flexible, the brand new Boxer 2.0 from Manscaped. Take your balls to the royal ball throne. The global leaders in below-the-waist grooming have the Lawnmower 4.0 for the trimming, so you can wear the Boxers 2.0 for the chilling. You know what I mean? They even trademarked the jewel pouch, so you know it's serious. I think it's time you invest in your family jewels, so let your bold breathe and get 20% off and free shipping with code PSH at manscaped.com. Hey, 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 hey. Let's just say that you're on a date and your partner catches that manscaped on the waistband of your underwear. It's almost guaranteed to raise some eyebrows and act like a billboard on the way to Pleasure Town. You know what I mean? Come on. I'm just trying to help the people out. You know what I mean? They came out with new boxers. They're really comfortable, and they look good. That waistband, that manscaped on the waistband, you know what I mean? Oh, my God. I'm telling you. It's good stuff. So be proud of your underwear and wear the manscaped waistband with a badge of honor. Your balls deserve it. Remember, get 20% off and free shipping with my code PSH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with my code PSH at manscaped.com. Up your crotch game because once the boxer 2.0 touched that sack, 
You'll never go back. You know what I mean? Thank you so much, Manscaped, for sponsoring the You Should Know podcast. I love you with all my heart. I see all y'all using that promo code. It's at the top of the description right there. Go ahead and click it. PSA to check out 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Now back to the rest of the podcast. All right, we got co-host Cam. Back at it again. <laughs> Holy <laughs> We got co-host Cam back on the podcast. I'm not going to lie to you. We just came from Starbucks, and Cam got this drink. He put me onto it. I don't know what they put in it. It shouldn't be legal because now I feel like yeah. I can, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, climb yeah. up on yeah, walls. You're not, you're not Toby, Tom. Andrew, or Tom. All right. Brown sugar, shaken espresso, non sweet cream instead of milk. Shout out to Ash Cash for putting me and Olivia on the Who? drink. Ashley, number 20. It's oh. her nickname. Oh. You know. I'm sorry. Sorry. I was eating yeah. ice. Ashley Lopez. Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about Ashlyn. No, yeah. It wasn't you. It was, okay. Yeah. Got, uh, Cam, how have you been, man? Can We we got some exciting news here from Cam. We're not going to tell you like exactly what it is, but Cam officially got his oh. big boy job. Everybody, round of applause for Cam. Co-host Cam is getting paid, baby. Woo! I just hurt the shit out of my finger clapping. Yeah. That never Sorry. happens to me. It happens new to ring life. Anytime I clap, I punch my hand or something, it's it's bruise on a knuckle. Time out. Something's bothering me that I'm looking at. What is that? What do you what is this accessory? Stand up and show them your accessory, please. What? I've never seen you. What it, what yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? What why is it clipped? They can't hear you. They can't hear you. <laughs> He's got keys. All right. <laughs> it's so many accessories. On your on your waistband and you're rocking it like that. Why why do you do that? What is <laughs> what? <laughs> and you're feeling it too. You like it. What is? Can you explain that that fashion choice? That lay that you decided to put on? It's called a car key with a Nike accessory, an Apple AirTag. No 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 no. Why? A Ooh. picture of me and my gorgeous wife. Yeah. Oh. Why is it on your waist? Uh, cause I have the little clippy thing, and I just. Clip it. Yeah, that didn't answer my question. You don't like it, doesn't have to be there. <laughs> but congratulations on your on your big boy job. Cam's Thank getting you. paid. Yeah, thank you. Yep, let go of my hand. The yep. fans are worried. Are they going to see less of co-host Cam now that you got your big... B- <sighs> my BBJ, big boy job. Um, Hopefully not. Is a possibility. <laughs> not the answer y'all want. But we will, you know, we, we grind here. We are grinders. We are grinders. We, we will make it happen. So. so also, since Cam just got this huge lump sum of money, like he's well into it's the seven not, figures on this new job. Absolutely not. And he... Not seven, he, not six. Him, his lovely wife, and our lovely friend Ashlyn came to my apartment before we shot this episode, uh, before we, we drove up here in a motor vehicle, and they got me gifts. And they got me a cure eggs and posters for this. The studio is now a lot more lively because of the gifts. So I just want to shout out to them. Thank you. I'm bad at getting gifts. I had an anxiety attack. Started sweating real bad. He did. He said, "This is the, my third gift ever." <laughs> yeah, I'm not a. I don't was, get gifts uh, often. Peyton is moving apartments and going into a new one. It was like a little housewarming gift. So. Yes. So shout out to my friends. It's very loving in here. Um, I got something planned for you, Cam, and I was I sh- I've been holding that secret in for about a month, but I got some. Something coming for you, for your okay. for your duties here. You should know. Okay. But if you have a leave of absence here, I will redact that. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So that's just a, a life update. I'm moving next week. Fun times. Not really. Packing sucks. It, it's uh, but you know my, I don't have much. So yeah. It's just the big stuff to be honest. The new apartment is nice. It's like a downtown view. It is nice. Yep. It's it's it. I'm excited. Right now, because right now my bathroom is like a one by one square foot. Yeah, like you can't uh, move in one direction you can't without hitting a wall. With like you have to move to the wall to close the door, <laughs> and then you can get back in the open space. There's no flexible door closing. You have to. It has to be a two step process. And the neighborhood that my apartment yeah. is in, we're. I have a story about my neighborhood later in the episode, but it is a, it's a special one. It's like the twilight zone almost. It's, yeah, it's nuts. It's different. But, you know, since we got 10,000 subscribers, I feel like I can be more vulnerable. Since they've they've gifted us with 10,000 subscribers, I feel like I need to gift them with vulnerability. I feel like that's what the next step is. Fair trade. And I'm really nervous about saying this, but I need I need to know if this is if this is weird. Okay. If it's bad and I might cut this out. I got a weird type. 
type of what? Like women I'm interested in. Okay. Well, uh, I don't think it's weird, but we can go ahead and say No, but when I say it, it, okay, so say like, God, how do I, how do I phrase this? All right. Say I see a woman, right? And then we just end up speaking and then we do the pleasantries. Hey, how, how are you? Season's greetings. Season's greetings. Shout out to Mama Harden. Um, <laughs> and if I ask, you know, that normally as an adult, you ask, what do you do? Yeah. My answer is always kind of weird because, you know, I have a, not a normal job. And then when I ask them, if this, if, if the woman were to say, I work at 7-Eleven, oh, like if she works at like a Chevron or something, oh, oh, my God. Why is that? A, uh, I don't know, but like, why is that a thing? Oh, if you work at TJ Maxx or something, God, it's just like a, <laughs> it's weird. No, I like what? it. Oh, you like yeah, yeah, no, it's like yes. Liv said that's very, very rude. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were no, 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 I like it. Like if she works at like like oh, is she like Goodwill? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? No, I don't. I don't. What to say? I don't really like. If well, put I, yourself in my shoes. If I was still in the single realm, and whatnot, it's like I really wouldn't care what their job was I don't as long care. as they had a job and if they didn't have a job I'm not saying if you're jobless like ooh get to stay away but I'm <laughs> saying like you know I could care less really what you do with work no it's not like I have like a turn off thing like if you don't work at a certain place I'm like you I'm just saying cool whatever you do but if it is like a seven like you work at Chevron Chevron ooh wee -ee -ee. let's go get married how about that let's go over to to Why? the to the courthouse I don't know dude you want, it's like, something the about gas discount or what is <laughs> no it? it's like... nothing for me it's just like I like that like if you work at Wendy's or something yes <sighs> that's cool that's yeah. great. Like someone who works at the hospital and an educator, a teacher. No, here. that's good. But it's like real niche. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're like, like, if you were at kind of like Rue 21 or something. <laughs> <laughs> what? That, what does it do for you, though? You can't just say that. To, like, I don't know. The thought process I think it's the it? grit of it, like the grime. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can understand that part, but what is it? Like, do if you got on the you? black, and, uh, like chunky, like the no one. slip shoes. <laughs> If you have to wear Walmart no slips to work, oh, you're it's just you're the automatic one. plus three for oh you. Oh my god! Wow, that is very strange. I feel like I'm gonna cut that out. Uh, I'd leave it. Really? You said vulnerability. That's what you're giving them. So I'm gonna be more vulnerable. There you go. I like it. Go. So you got to be on my side here. You can't got, promise it. You got to be on my side. I can't promise. It. So I was talking to this lovely lady over Instagram DMs just getting to know each other she swiped up on a couple stories i responded and we got to talking right and then this happened for a couple of weeks and we we're getting to know each other over the internet type of thing and it got to a point where it's like okay i don't want to be pen pals the next step yeah. is like let's let's arrange let's a date meet. yeah let's arrange a date somewhere we go somewhere nice to eat so me being the gentleman i was like hey if you're free this said week let's come to dallas let's go out to eat i'll take you on this nice restaurant and everything she responds to me and goes, ah, I'll be out of the country that week. Okay. I go, it's good for you. Yeah, it's, that's awesome. I've never been out of the country. I don't even have a passport. You've never been out of the country? Never once. I mean, I've only been to Mexico. Yeah, that's cool. I've never been. I want to go to Europe. Anyway. And then she goes, I'll be out of the country this week. And I'm like, oh, is it for work? And she goes, no, not for work. And that's it. I'm like, okay, what are you, what are you going out of the country for? And she was like, ah just to meet somebody. And I said, oh, maybe you got friends out there. And I was like, where are you going? Family, maybe. She goes, Romania. Is that a place? That is a place. Yeah. Romania. It's quite, it's, yeah. It's, she says, it's real. Romania. Now, not once in the history of Patonism have I heard anybody going to Romania before. Just to go. Yeah. Just to go. And I'm like, Romania, why is this place such at the top of my brain right now? Like, I've heard a lot about... I, I already know where you're going. I was like, I've heard a lot about Romania in the past, like, couple months. I'm like, yep. what's going... And then, so, I'm, I'm sitting there really thinking about what she's saying to me. And I'm like, I got to do some digging. I got to go FBI mode, see what's in Romania. Yeah. I click her Instagram. 
I don't go to her following. Oh, I so go. You to, conducted a search. I I went full FBI agent. Full Sherlock Holmes. Oh my God! I I had a monocle on at this point. <laughs> And so I go. See, if, she, if she posted this on this day, I was matching up blades back, of grass. Back, back full hours. <laughs> and so I, uh, I go to her follow followers, and I'm thinking, who, who's a Romanian? And then I'm just going through her followers, right? And I see a verified and, and badge. You see him. I see the one. The top G the only. Andrew, motherfucking. Tate is following her Ooh. and I click it's like is Andrew Tate in Romania yep I click his thing bow Romania I was like oh I lost her to the top G top G stole her probably with zero effort by the way no yeah <laughs> technical right. difficulties yep. here zero <laughs> effort probably was pro <laughs> oh my god what is happening? It probably was as simple as like this. Hey, go to Romania. <laughs> she was like, books, ticket, buy, go. And then I'm like, I'm like, there's no way. I check her. F I check if she's liked any of the pictures. She's liked them, commented. She's commented top G with hard eyes on some of the pictures. I said, ooh, charge yeah. it to the game. You checked a lot. Yeah. If you were checking likes and comments. Oh, no, I'm a you sicko. You little creeper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a sicko. Um, yeah, so shout out to Andrew Tate. For what? For shout out to Andrew Tate for stealing <laughs> a potential date from you? Yeah. Stealing a female? Yeah, and I'm like, at this point, it's like not like a jealousy thing where I'm like, I can't go out with you anymore, but it's like, I can't compete. You know what I mean? It's like, I can't yeah. do, so let's just cancel ours. Like, you, we're, can, you can go to Romania, he can buy you a, you know, a Uris something. Exactly. You come here, I can get you a, <laughs> I mean, we can share cheese curds at the local Applebee's. Yeah, we're like, going to Applebee's. We're, we're doing yeah. the two for 20 if you yeah, go to it. So it's just like. That's Chili's. And yeah. It's gone. RIP. Two they for took 20, the two for uh, 20 out of two for Chili? 20, two for 25. Gone forever. Oh, yeah. They would be getting phone calls. Damn. Yeah. So me and gotta, Olivia, our favorite, not like, ooh, our favorite, but like, yeah, it's pretty close to our favorite just because convenience, typically in and out, good. We knew exactly what we like. We went to Chili's almost religiously. Mm hmm. Two for 25 every single time. Cheese fries, we got our two things, and then dessert at the end. It's gone. It's gone, man. Have you heard? Have you been to Applebee's before? Yes. Have you been Apple? <laughs> have you been to Applebee's at night? Yes. Have you been to Applebee's on, I believe it's Monday nights? It's like half price apps? Ooh. No, I'm talking about for drinks. Well, I know what you're talking about, but I'm saying for, if you go on Monday nights, you can get like. Cheese sticks, boneless wings, and the little wonton tacos or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're each normally eight, nine a piece. Bam, like twelve dollars. You have three full blown appetizers in front of you. Drink a water, tip about one fifty. I was really. talking about I was talking about drinks. Yeah, I know, but I don't care. I like food, so I know, but but like Applebee's at night is like apparently, yeah, it's, it's like, like a, a club. Vibe. It yeah, is like, nice. Dollar pitcher margaritas. Dollar pitcher margaritas. I, I've had it. <laughs> we should go to Applebee's tonight. Let's go to Applebee's tonight. I'm down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so I went to Applebee's. <sighs> oh, oh, one more. I'll try it again. Oh, that reminds me. Awkward moments. Your couch is creaking. What? It always creaks. Yeah. The, mo the most awkward moment. <laughs> the awkward moment. The most awkward moment ever is trying to go for a fist bump with somebody that has no rhythm. Oh God! Because that'll I, make you itch. That'll I, it'll literally like make you feel uncomfortable. Like you're you'll go. Oh my God! It's making me sick. Because right a fist bump, you're supposed to power up at the beginning and meet in the middle. People with no rhythm start the fist bump slow and then they and then they, they follow they through. Yeah, like they jab you. It's like hey hey hey. Oh, oh God! It's like hey my knuckles. It's still a bone. I don't know what you hit on a day to day, but it's like calm down. They'll be like do an open hand, but imagine if it was a knuckle. Like it's like they're they're going for dap, right? But then when they see you're like like wow, monkey pox is like let's just get exactly. some knuckles. They're like, <laughs> I'm like you mother, <laughs> like don't you ever do that again? Like, yeah, like what what was that? You're bad. No, that's horrible. And just handshakes in general. It's I have so many awkward handshake moments. There's, it's because okay, to be honest, like the average person might not have the same handshake as a. Former athlete, said athlete, been in locker room whole life. You, you always know, handshake. It's always like you can walk up to any other hooper of all time. Right. 
and it's probably going to be this sector right here. You, you lock right there, mm -hmm. and then you close mm -hmm. it like a simple just. You know, but you like, snap. Yeah, I snap. Uh, I snap. Don't not, snap. Not a triple quadruple, but and that, don't got, snap. that got ingrained to me as well. Not every if it's someone I don't know. No, really, but if it was you or me, whatever, no. bang, bang, snap. No, no, if I'm dabbing somebody and I go and they leave with a snap, I walk away and be like, this fucking loser. <laughs> it's not for everybody. The snap's not for everybody. It's like a it's like a Costco card. You have to have a membership to get a snap out of me. So don't make me feel like that. Don't you do that. But you have other people that are, you know, in like in that culture, right. but not like it's like standards and they don't know them. Yeah. And but it's like to them, that's normal. To that, to us, it's normal. So you you'll get these sometimes. Like someone will just go for this one mm -hmm. into that, right? And you'll get like one person doing that, and the other guy going for is the like grip. That, yep. It's like, and you, then you're just like, you know what you I don't? You, leave. you know what I don't like is the three layered handshake where they go all three sectors of your hand like this. So they go grip here and then finish with the fingertips. Don't finish with you my know fingertips. The worst thing that happens to me often, and huh. I don't know why, but it's like us having. A little bit larger than normal hands than right. the average. So many times this happens. If a, if another man, I keep leaving from the mic. Sorry. If another man goes for a formal handshake, right? Business, someone older or same age, but you don't know him, right? And they go to give you this right here, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the length of their hand is not matching up. But right. This happens way too often for me. You pinch the and it's no, like you do it to me, and it's dainty. No, they do it to me, and it makes me feel dainty. But that's oh. not the vibe I'm going for, obviously. I'm going to shake your hand. Grip, good grip. It was grip. a pleasure, right? Yep, yep. But they, it's like they don't have no more hand to give, mm -hmm. and I still have some inches, and it's right. like it just stops right here. And they do this it's, to me. And it's, yeah, it's and bad. It's like, it's like, it's like are you like, about to kiss to my hand? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like, don't do that to me. But <laughs> it, it, God, it, it happens so often. Have you ever had why. a handshake war with somebody that's like, no, you, you, like, you meet somebody's time. father? No. Nope. And there was a girl in high school. I met her father. And it's yeah. just like, bro, you can't do this to All me. Right, you're getting personal. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> but it made me mad because he was, he did like, he shook my hand, but then he, he like, he gripped it hard and then kept going. And, and did he turn you like that? Yes. And I was like, I was like, don't try to dominate my, and you know what I did? I was going back and forth. I was, I'm like, not losing this. I was going back and forth. You feel a quick look, and you're yeah. like, okay, well, no, I'll I was have like, back by 11. Me. He's like, yeah, you better. You turn around, you're like, 11.30. <laughs> yeah, handshakes are, oh, God, it's a lost art. That? It's a lost art. But in the same respect, if you meet a random with a perfect handshake, it yeah. says a lot. Like, it, oh. like a fan or something, and they, it's just butter. It's yeah. like, we get you get to pop. You're, yeah, Ooh. you're just like. You're like, I knew it. And yeah, you yeah. walk away feeling good. A handshake can do a lot. A hand who? What? What, Olivia? You know what? Also, another awkward moment. It's kind of demoralizing. Like, whenever, I don't know if anybody else does this. When you're in the car alone, you blast the music all the way and you have a concert. Like, you're singing top of your lungs type 100%. of vibe. And have you ever, like, you're say you're listening to Adele, maybe. And you're, all the time. And she hits that nice run. And she's like, ha, ha, and, and you, you go for you it. You go for it. But then, like. But then you don't have tin on your car and the person next to you at the red light sees you and they look through because your car is a fishbowl and they see you singing at the top of your lungs and then you feel awkward on the inside and you feel embarrassed for no reason because you don't know that person? No. <laughs> okay. You all right? No, it doesn't happen to me. I was just an example. No, like your voice cracks on a run. Oh, and so yeah. you're feeling the song. You're like, do you remember the three of us in the car with Darnell? All right. Another Juco story. Darnell Butler, shout out to shout you. Out to you're still hooping. You should be. You're a yeah. pro. He should be. Oh, I don't know. Garrett hit me up today. Garrett did? Thibodeau, yep. Oh, wow. Shout out to Garrett. Yep. That's a, <laughs> He's a That menace. is a man. Got to have Garrett on here eventually. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but Darnell, shout out to you. Um, Chocolate Dropper was his nickname. Yep. But man can sing, like straight up. Beautiful. Actually sing, like sounds like he was raised in the choir. Yeah, you like can tell he, he grew up in the church. Great. So we... um. We're in the car one night. I think it was Adele. It was, yep. It, no, it was Sam. Sam Smith. It was oh, Sam. Oh, it, it had Sam. to be Sam. We love Sam. Samuel. When uh, the thrill of it all dropped, we were listening to that on, re I mean, full-blown collegiate basketball players, that Sam Smith, that's what we're blasting in the car. Yep. So one night, I'm vulnerable. My f good friends, Darnell's <laughs> a good singer. He hits his little part, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to step up to the plate. I'm going to give it my best shot. Oh, and Sam just does what Sam does, hits this beautiful thing. And you know how when you do a Snapchat video, if your car is connected to Bluetooth and it'll stop? So someone goes to record me and I literally was like, ha, ah, ah. 
And it it demoralized me, and Darnell just starts laughing. And I out loud, I go, that was so bad. And I was so ashamed He was of so serious, was, too. Yeah, it was, I have that I, video. I really tried hard, and it was really bad. And that's, like, embarrassing. Like, if you were just, like, singing, uh, like, a little half whatever, and it was bad, you can play it off like, bro, I wasn't trying. I didn't right. sing. I gave it my all, and it was awful. So Hey, speaking of for the Discord, I have that video that he's talking yeah, about. I'm going to put it in the Discord. You can only Discord see it only. If you're in the Discord. Yep. That's going to be so good. That's you good go. that you brought that up. Hey, that's why we have you. Yeah. Do you, come in. No, no. Oh, oh, see, there oh, you go. Oh, oh. I said come again, and you went with a different one. What are we trying to do? Follow instructions. We're doing it again. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's going to give me carpal tunnel. What is that? You just hit the... Oh. All right. Oh. <laughs> WD-40? Do you need some? Golly. Oh, shit, bro. I'm, I'm trying to sitting on of... a wooden pallet. It's just like... Er, e, er, e, er, e. Uh, God, what do we talk about? I kind of like... Fuck the topics kind of right now. It's kind of like this vibe we're in. <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding. I love to always bring you back down a notch. Uh, I say you hit that next one. The weird childhood friend? You can hit that later. The next one. <laughs> the awkward moments? The next one. Sorry. <laughs> Why insane? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that one. Because you already you gave a you gave a, a prelim, an intro to it. Okay. So speak about it. Because I, I want to hear. I know where you live, and it is a very weird neighborhood, but I want to hear what you're, where you're going with it. Like, the place where I live now, I think it's like a twilight zone. Like, it's not a real not place real. Yeah, no, where not. I live. It's not. Like, I see these strangest things that no human should be open to, and I see it on a daily basis. And when I tell this, the people watching this video are not going to believe anything I'm no. saying. Went to a hoop session yesterday. Mm -hmm. Hooping with some good friends. It was great runs. Uh, I see a friend that, you know, last time I saw him was at the wedding. Haven't seen him in a while. He goes, bro, you know I watch him like every, like every time they post, right? I was like, oh, thanks. He goes, come on, are they all real? And I was like, I was like, dude, I wish that I was creative enough to make exactly. this stuff up, but they're like, it's like, I'm not, I don't know what to tell you. You can believe it if you don't want to, but yeah, it's real. I'm like, especially with him, all of his solo stories, that's him. And I certainly believe them because I've spent enough time, but the Juco stories, there's two sets. Of, what are you doing? All right, calm down, you basset hound. First things first, you are a human, not a dog. Stop that. Second thing, did you just spit on our carpet? Or rug, sorry. You spit on the rug. <laughs> there was something in my mouth. Why would you do that? It was scary. It was scary. Wipe your eyes off. You spit on the rug. Like it was grass. Yeah, like it was a like it was his lawn. He literally went. <laughs> it just Is my dropped mouth it. Bleeding? No, it's not. It's not. Oh my god. Hold on. Oh. God, that just pissed me off. That just angered me. There was something in my mouth, but it felt like it was like not leaving and it was scaring me. Spit in your cup. I, I'm not done Stand with it. Stand up, spit in the trash can. Go get I on. own this. I can spit on it if I want to. I mean, that's true. But that's freakish. Oh, and you're going to rub it in. <laughs> let it get nice and nice and oh, saturated down there. I can't tell her it's a story yet. What was I talking about? My crazy neighborhood? Yeah. Sorry for that, guys. Should I cut that out? Uh, I don't know. That's... <laughs> Um, okay. It's insanity. What are you looking at? The, them. Oh. <laughs> the, uh, like some of the crazy things I've seen in my neighborhood recently, like this I- This couch creaks one more time. <laughs> like I'm some gonna rob Van Damme this couch from the top turnbuckle and frog splash this hoe into oblivion if this creaks one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to- This is pissing me off. <laughs> I am, no, just, I gotta like sit. I'm so sweaty right now. I'm just gonna sit up. All right. <laughs> so.
so like some of the crazy things i've seen in my neighborhood like this was recently i'm telling you no one's gonna believe this when i say it but i was driving out of my apartment complex in the first car that i saw driving towards me had like a raccoon stuffed on the like in the on the what's it on the dashboard of their car like Not on the de oh like oh it, it was inside oh. And it had like oh. a stuffed like raccoon and it had like an action position. Like, it was like, I kid you not, bro. I thought you were talking about like, I was about to say that's semi normal. Like if someone hits said feral and keeps driving <laughs> and if they don't want to grab it with their bare, hand, bare hands, I don't blame them. And they keep driving until they get home. I was like, okay, they probably hit it. They're going to keep going. I thought you meant it's in its bumper. No, this. It was inside, inside the windshield. Yes. Taking position. <laughs> stuff so they taxidermy they found a raccoon taxidermied it and decided hey where else would i put this the dashboard of my car Ugh, and it was like yeah. a 98 civic Dude, like you can tell a lot by someone's car to be honest like you can tell a lot about a person by their car i don't want to car shame people i don't want a car no i'm not talking about the <laughs> no i didn't mean that not the car you drive if it gets you from a to b hey my motto rough ride beats a smooth walk that's that thing can be like no, not the car you drive, the inside of your car. Oh That's what I meant yeah, to say. yeah, You yeah. can tell a lot about it, like this Jeep culture. They all have the little ducks. Yeah, I got ducks. Like, yeah, I don't know where that came from. It's called ducking a Jeep. So you basically, but it doesn't matter. Let me get into the rest of this goddamn story. But basically, whatever's on the inside of your car, I can tell a lot about you. If you're grimy, <laughs> dirty, a cretin, anything. If you spit on rugs, I can probably tell by the inside of your car. Go. <laughs> the other. <laughs> What noise was that? Are you okay? It sounded like a dog, like like a, like you like a whimper, sounded like a whimpering, whining dog that's waiting for its owner at the front door. You went. <laughs> the other, it's her blood sugar. Yeah, she's about to pass out. Where is your wife at? I don't. She's gone. Okay. She, oh, okay. Let's hope that didn't go neighborhood. <laughs> the other thing I saw driving out of my neighborhood, there was a guy. I swear to God, he was in a truck. He had the window down, the driver's side window down. His foot was outside of the driver's window, barefoot. I saw toes, palm of the foot on his side mirror, driving like this. I kid, and he was so comfortable, cigarette in the mouth, going like this. And I'm like, if I was in a motorcycle, I would intentionally go between the two lanes and flick his toe and drive off. But oh. do you understand how crazy that is to have your hoof on the side mirror? That is wild. nuts. And it's barefoot. And I'm just saying that to set the scene of what kind of environment that I live in. But the other day, I saw the craziest thing ever in my neighborhood. Ever. So there's like fast food. There's like a little chain of fast food restaurants by where I live. I was hungry one day, as I am. Always. I, every day. I go to this fast food restaurant. The line was... You should see his fridge. <laughs> I go I go to this fast food restaurant and the line is too long. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to be lazy. I'm going to go inside. I never go inside because I just like to sit in my car, not be around humans. I go inside and I'm ordering my food at the kiosk. I'm saying I would like this. I would like this. As I'm ordering my food, I see out of my peripheral, there's a woman. That's normal. But when I... Factory reset. But when I look at this woman, she's dressed like Mary Poppins. I kid you not, she has the full gown on. She has the hat, the trench coat, the lipstick, mascara. Didn't Mary Poppins have like a cane or something? She had all of it. She had the cane? she had the cane, but I think it was an umbrella. It's 104 degrees outside, no clouds. Why do you have an umbrella? Yeah. Why do you have that much that much lay on your Actually, body? Actually, some people do have an umbrella if it's really hot outside, block the sun, UV. No, so it's it's insane. Like I was looking at her, I was like, that's Mary Poppins. I see her <laughs> yeah. inside. She has no food on her spoon full of <laughs> she has no food on her table. She's not talking to anybody, not on her phone. She has a trench coat on her body, trench coat over the lap. She's looking out the window, just staring. Hasn't blinked yet. She's like this. I'm like, I'm terrified of her now. I'm just not going to go anywhere near. Her. So I sit a couple booths behind her so I can keep an eye on her just in case she's doing any funny business. Mm -hmm. So as I'm waiting for my food to come to me so I can take it back to my car and eat it, I'm just sitting there, but I'm keeping an eye on her. She hasn't moved an inch. I'm like, she's just sitting here alone. No one's with her. She's by herself. She's looking out the window. All of a sudden, a man that looks like he expired three years ago walks into this establishment. <laughs> like, he might be the oldest person I've ever seen. Oh. Like, weekend at Bernie's. How are you moving? Yeah. Like, it, it's that's, I, that's not mean, but that's what you look like. Okay. Like, he's old, Cam. Like he's about to be stuffed and taxidermied and be on the next dashboard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly but he walks in and starts to beeline towards her i'm like oh 
they're with each other. This woman's like 45. This guy's 110. Exactly. Not sure the relationship doesn't matter. But this man walks in with an abundance of groceries all down the arms, bags of groceries. I'm like, why are you bringing Impressive. that in? His to joints are still allowing him to hold groceries at 110. It was, it was. He did some lateral raises. Astonishing. But why are you bringing that into this fast food restaurant? You can order food right there. Why are you bringing your whole groceries in here? He brings in the whole groceries, sits across from her, takes all the groceries out, and puts them on the table. This man starts cooking what looks like to be a potato salad. I kid you not. <laughs> he is cooking like a potato salad on Inside this table the restaurant people are not gonna believe me when i say this i i, I have a video of like this happening it's like it looks like sasquatch footage because i was scared to like pull out my camera but i have a video of her sitting across from a 110 year old man making potato salad i'm like okay i have to get out of here soon like things are getting very weird what restaurant was this in? it was a whataburger but a lot of people don't know what whataburger is uh, that's true well, it's the goat so yeah so Everything was normal. They were quiet. Still no words have been said to each other. I'm looking to see if they're communicating over this potato salad getting chefed up. They're not. All of a sudden, the 110-year-old man stands up and goes, you never tell me what I do right. <sighs> What's happening? Now they're in an altercation. Oh my! God. I kid you not. Mary Poppins goes, I just wanted some more bread, Jerry. <sighs> People are, I swear on everything I love that this happened. As soon as they start getting a screaming match, I'm like, I don't want anything to do with Mary Poppins and Jerry. I'm going back to my car. I go back to my car. I'm like, okay, maybe that's the craziest thing that I'll see today. I'm glad I didn't stay here for too long. I don't know what's about to go on. Maybe she's going to fly away with this potato yeah, salad. Has to. I go through the rest of the day, but at nighttime, I was like, oh, I kind of want this food. Like, I want to cook something. So I need to go to Target to get the ingredients to cook something for tonight. I go to Target, and it's right before Target's about to close. There's not a lot of people in there. All the workers are in there putting stuff up, putting yeah. all the carts up. Getting ready to leave. So as I go to the checkout, the lady's scanning my stuff. I'm just kind of looking through the Target, you know, people watching, doing my thing as she's scanning my groceries. And as she's scanning my groceries, guess who I see doing a quick gallop through the Target towards the exit? It's either Jerry or Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins, <laughs> same outfit is inside of the target galloping make, galloping making a beeline to the exit i'm like why does she look so frantic right now she why is she in bread. here she had a cart full of groceries and she's galloping towards the exit like a swift little skip and i'm like what is going on as soon as she hits the sliding doors mary poppins is gone she sprints out of this target with groceries all the workers are like turning i kid you not I'm starting to walk out now. I'm done with my groceries. As soon as she beelines, I'm kind of heading towards the door. There is a man, a small man that works at Target. And I think he like cleans up the area because he had like a bunch of cleaning utensils and he's putting carts up and stuff. He turns to me and goes, where does she go? That's your job. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I witnessed that with you. What yeah. do you, what do you mean? Do you think I have a, a ring doorbell set yeah, up on like, the outside and I have footage? It was... And and I have a video of like when I drove out, I saw her on the side of the street with the Target bag, like making a beeline towards that where that restaurant was. Like she was heading to the woods somewhere. I don't know with this cart of groceries. Uh, yeah, so Mary Poppins uh, escaped from Target. Yeah, and stole groceries. Yep. from Target. Yeah, and then flew away. Yeah, and the short cleaning man wanted you to help him. He had on a this quest. Oh, and I didn't say this about the short cleaning man. He had a Mario hat on, and he says, "Where does she go?" It's like it's like you're living, it's like you're living in a in like a level, of like Smash Bros meets Dallas, meets regular life activities. Yeah, that's unbelievable. With a DLC pack of like insaneness. I don't know if that was a good story. It's true, but I don't know. Like it's like I feel like it's so crazy people aren't gonna believe it. But I swear, and I have videos, and pictures. So Discord, you'll see the video. And there's no well, that's going on TikTok, denying. so I'll have to put that on the oh, well, yeah, but thing too. But like, if you're in the Discord, you would have seen that like as soon as um, it happened. You didn't seem too interested in that story, no, I was very interested. Oh. There wasn't much point for me to interject <laughs> because I was listening to everything, it was an unreal. That's yeah. Um, what should we do next? Mm. Should we do the uh, so we talk about my weird childhood friend? Let's hear it. So in elementary school, I had this childhood friend, and I think his family was pretty wealthy because my parents really didn't let me go to my friend's house as a kid. Mm -hmm. But, like, my parents met their parents, and then uh, 
my parents like did a drive by in the house and they were like, oh, the house is really nice. The parents are cool. Yeah, Peyton, you can go over to this friend's I house. I was stabbed in elementary. What do you what what do you say to me right now? <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I did. Yeah, I was I was stabbed. Oh, with the pencil? Yeah. Oh yeah yeah you did say that. Yeah. You all right? No. Every time I hear elementary, it just kind of takes me back to that. That was crazy. Let me just. But so my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> just went through just something. PTSD. That's all but right. uh, so my parents finally let me go to this friend's house. Mm-hmm. Now, I go into this friend's house, and the first thing that these. Pe- the first thing I'll be like, so I go over to the. I have a podcast. Let's go. So I go over to this friend's house, and the first thing the parents say to me as soon as I step foot in the house are like, "That was a lot of s's." <laughs> I can see why you're messing up. That was a lot of s's. And I go over to this friend's house, and the parents, the first thing the parents said to me when I said, <laughs> "All right, go." First thing the parents said to you when you stepped foot in the house. The first thing that the parents said to me when I stepped foot in the house was like, "Hey, Peyton, can you take off your shoes?" And your socks. Nope. <laughs> I'm, hey, Johnny, I'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Especially me with my toe. <laughs> I'm like, okay, like, yeah. that's fine. That's your household rules. It's not a cultural thing, I don't think, because they're from Iowa. Like, I don't look, I don't know what's going yeah. on. But, hey, I'm a guest. I will do what you ask me to do. I take off my shoe. I take off my sock. Now, I'm like an eight-year-old kid. I'm sure my feet didn't smell the freshest. Yeah. But you want that on your on your floors. That's fine. It's up to you. They had carpet. You like extra cleaning. They had carpet and tile and wood, all three in that same house. It was a very Trifecta. strange house. Oh, you didn't even have to tell me what was on the floor. If they're making me take off my shoes and socks, it's pretty strange from the rip. It, it, it was a it was a weird experience, and it gets even weirder. I could only imagine <laughs> because they start to break down to me the household rules. Now I haven't even made it halfway into the living room yet, and I'm getting explained the household rules. That's fine, but ease me into it. You know what I mean? Don't bombard me with a to-do list of rules inside yeah. of your house that I'm already, I'm anxious Let as a kid. Let me play with your son. I didn't come up for chores yeah. and rules. I want to go play with the Lego set. Yeah. I'm not going to touch anything in your kitchen. Not happening. Leaving any doors open. I'm not doing that. No. But all the rules were kind of normal. Like, they're a little uptight, but I'm like, hey, I respect your household. But there was one rule that made me real uncomfortable. And I promise you, if you do this in your house, you need to be evaluated. You need an appointment to something. You. I kid you not. They said, hey, if you need to use the restroom, if it's yellow, leave it mellow. Now I said, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm eight. Define mellow. I'm like, what is this riddle that you're giving me? And so I. T- Are you the troll at the end of the bridge? Why am I, why am I having to think? And so I'm confused. I say, yes, sir, yes, ma'am to them. But then I turn to my friend. I'm like, hey, what does that mean? What does leave it mellow mean? Like, he says, if it's not number two, just leave it in the toilet. So, okay, so they were conserving water. But at that age. No, 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 no. You don't know. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. They had a specific toilet designed for just pee. How much pee has been sitting in that toilet for how long? Because think, if there's never number two in that toilet, you never flush that toilet. I'm sitting on three years of urine. Of urine. I'm not sitting because yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm standing over three years was of urine like, right now. Was Okay, you have to you have to put me there. Where was this toilet at? So it was like a half bathroom. So it was nothing okay, but a toilet say, and a and a and a sink. And a sink. The, the poos are for the bedrooms and stuff, like the full bathrooms. Yeah, the fools. So I walk in, and I have to pee. I'm a kid, I have to pee. I think every human, doesn't matter your age, you have to pee. Kid, adult, anyone? So I go over to this pee bathroom where I'm supposed to leave it mellow. The lid's down. I'm like, all right, that's fine. You don't want me to, that's fine. That's courteous, I guess. I open it up. It smelled like gasoline, copper. It, sounds like, it smells like they just threw pennies. Like it was corroded on this. It was oh. the nastiest thing I have ever witnessed in my life. I understand you're trying to conserve energy or whatever, conserve water. <laughs> but if you're leaving it mellow for longer than three hours, flush it. Screw you. <laughs> flush it. That's, so you said three hours. I'm saying if now it's, imagine three days, weeks, months, and then to three years. Like how long has that been in there? Where does it go? That's my thing. Are you scooping it? Where like you you have to flush. Yes. 
to relieve the liquid. Yep. Yes, you do. If you go... It'll slowly go back to back to back to back. That's disgusting. That's so gross. Okay, so what is your YouTube yeah, looking like? Outs, what are you watching outs, on outside YouTube? Outside of the mics, we just got confirmation that you don't have to flush. So I was under the assumption you fill the toilet bowl, it will eventually reach its maximum capacity exactly. and overflow, right? We just got confirmation that it will seep back in, so to say. Oh. So you're comparing hoarders. That's a, how you know you shouldn't this be doing that. This is a hoarder of urine. Yeah. Of urine. Yeah. Oh, That's wait. That's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Okay, no. So, <laughs> apparently, you don't have to flush it. So, there's a actual possibility that when the urine level... First... Oh, my <laughs> God. First off... Oh. God, I'm just starting to picture it. It's... Gr I'm telling was you, it like, that's why I was saying your reaction wasn't big enough was what I was like saying. Was it yellow? It was like orange almost. <laughs> So many, there's so many types of urine too. There's dehydrated urine, asparagus, <laughs> urine, asparagus piss, regular piss, clear piss. Like, it's just a piss jambalaya in their toilet at this point. And this, that, oh my God, that would, that would honestly, you know what that would do? That would make me fake homesick and call my mom to come pick. Were you staying the night or just hanging out? I was supposed to stay the night. My I'm mom, my mom picked me up, right? Your mom would have never, <laughs> this your mom would have <laughs> never let you go back the, over there if you told her that. In the car ride, Ever. in the car ride back, my mom, oh my God, in the car ride back, I was so quiet. I was, I was like this, like yeah, in the car. Stunned. And my mom was like, hey, did everything, it was everything okay? Like what they, what happened yeah, over they there? what they do to you? Like, yeah. And I, I told her about the leave it mellow situation. And she goes, your mom might have busted a Yui and went and knocked down this door. Like <laughs> she goes, she, she slow down, process, let it render and then spit it out. <laughs> she goes, Peyton, you're never going over there again. Ever. Especially your mom. Yeah. I, that's, that is disgusting. <laughs> like I, it was a really earthy home. Cause at the time I didn't understand what everything meant in the house. They probably like, they were probably if. If you say it's really earthy and like environment this, environmental that, like they probably made their own like, what is it called? Co uh, compost or somewhere like you can take, yeah, like with the oh. poop, like they take their poop or whatever and like oh. old veg like vegetable clippings oh. and stuff like that and like essentially make it into a soil for their garden and all that stuff. And then you eat that because you- <gasps> Okay, we're not going to put a serial killer on yeah, this Yeah, they people. might have a <laughs> local death cemetery in their backyard as well. That, that That's... Oh, my God. I ran into my first kiss ever. Recently? Recently. Wow. It was insane. She's still, what, she's still pretty. What would you say? Um, nothing. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. I was... um. So, oh, I don't know if my parents know this. Oh, God. Well, now they do. So I went to pre-K, right? Do you know what pre-K is? No, I know what pre-K is. Your first kiss was in pre-K? <laughs> it was bad. I mean, that happens, but was it like a real one? Like and No, no, no. I'll tell you what happened. Like these, and I didn't initiate it. Was it a real one? That's creepy. <laughs> even asking that. Pre-K is like four years old. I'm saying, was it just like... I'll tell you exactly yeah, how it happened. For it. So at recess every day, there was these two girls, right? I don't want to say their name. I remember their names. There was these two girls, and I guess, they, like, I wasn't in the girls... Like, I was just like, ooh, colors and video games. and You're like four. Yeah. yeah. But these girls were like, I guess, really into me. And so every day at recess, they're like, Peyton, let's play house. And I was yeah, like, they cool. like the skinny frail kid with long hair. <laughs> I had a buzz cut back there. You can see my dip. Oh, that was before <laughs> yeah. Troy Palomalo. Yeah, yeah. And so um, at, at recess every day, we would play house, and they would they would attack me. And there was like this big wooden like like <laughs> what wall. What house are you living in? <laughs> like we're playing a house, and you're trying to hunt me down like. This is Hansel and Gretel. Like you're gonna st <laughs> Hansel, that's the one with the. W uh, I don't know. I I skipped that part. Like, of child. Where she cooks them, puts them in the oven. Feel that's the back that. of my knee. No. Okay. That's like two times. You're trying to do that. Now. It's Stop so that. Stop. Sorry. Okay. So they attack you so, in the house. So they would literally two girls would grab me like this and push me up against this wooden wall, and then they would just like kiss me, like make like make out oh I was like but I, like obviously I, like when it had the first time it happened i was like wow i like this like this is cr but it happened like through the whole recess every day 
It was, yeah. and and then our teacher would come and she would like get mad because I was, you can't be doing that. And she'd be like, Peyton, so and so, I can say her name. I'll bleep it out. No, I, won't, I don't want to edit it. So Peyton, so and so, time out. And then I snitched. I was like, it's not me. It's them two. So they got uh, time out. And then I just was free roaming or whatever. You're just still playing house. I was still playing house by myself. I was a single. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> <laughs> I was a single. <laughs> a single house. It's kind of like I am now. I was about to say that. Um, and so, yeah, that happened like all of pre-K every day, all of recess. And I rem- and I was like, I, it got to a point where I was in love with that woman. Like, I was like, I love her. She was so pretty. Like, she was like a beautiful woman. And I've always wondered, like... Y'all were four, by the way. But she was beautiful. Like, wasn't a woman. Sh- you weren't a man. Okay, but, but I'm saying like as a kid, that's yeah, what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, through the years of, like, growing up in, like, elementary school, middle school, I was always like, I wonder what she's doing now. Like, I wonder what she, like, looks at. Where does she live? You know what I mean? So I would always go through the yearbooks, and she was never in that yearbook. And I was like, fuck, I'll never find her. Until, until I was leaving. No, no, no. I was leaving this restaurant, right? Monocle. I was leaving this restaurant, and I was pulling out of the parking spot, and she, this girl was zooming around the corner, and we almost got in a head-on collision. And I was like, this to her. But she didn't react back. She just kind of, like, stared at me like this. And I was like, why is she staring at me like this? Like, maybe she watches the podcast. Or I don't know what this is. And so, like, nothing happens. I go home, and I check my DMs, and I get a DM from this lovely-looking woman, and she goes, I almost ran into you in the parking lot. That's the only thing I see in the, in, in the like DM, the yeah, in the preview of the DM. So I'm like, why? how the hell did you find me? Yeah. I click and she goes, I'm so-and-so. We went to preschool together. And she was like, you used to always get me in trouble because I would kiss you. I, I like stalked her Instagram. She's married now. She's Congrats. she's a model now. Congrats. Yeah. Wow. That is a... Uh, Short world. Small, small world. <laughs> Short world. Long world. <laughs> Long world. Um, yeah. So That's I, wild. Yeah, it That's- was crazy. What? Did I fuck up? No, it was just playing house, getting attacked, getting smooched on for 20 minute time periods, yeah. then snitching. And uh, my mom worked at like this building across from the preschool, like, and it was like a high rise building and she had, win- she had a window like desk. And so I'd always be afraid that she'd be watching she'd be me. So I'd be smooching and like looking. Like, <laughs> I'm like, please mom, don't be watching. Mom, God, my parents are going to watch this. Imagine bro. She's probably going to be like, oh, I knew the whole time. Whatever. Good for her. <laughs> um, video submission. Video fan submission. Um, so I always ask on Twitter. You have to be following me on Twitter. Send me a video DM and your face will be on the podcast. And we got one. So let's watch it. And my old manager just texted me. Should I read it live on air? Nope. She just sent me the salt emoji. That's it. Just the salt emoji. She's salty. Something you've I haven't done. worked there for like a Something. year and a half. Something you've done displeased her i don't know i don't care she video was a fan submission video fan submission let me pull it up um what's her name what i want to get her name i think the v- name's in the video Hi. oh ready one two three hi Peyton. i really love Hello. the podcast i've been subscribed for a while now and thank you i just wanted to ask what are some of your hot takes thank you first of all um what's her name let me get her name her name is Cat, shout out to Cat on Instagram for sending that video submission. Hot Follow take. me on Instagram at PSHA to send your video submissions and you'll be on the podcast. So, a hot take. I thought you said Twitter. Instagram. Whoa! You said Twitter the first time. No, I didn't, did I? I didn't, yeah, see? Okay, that's my bad. Feel the back of my knee. No. Okay. Hot takes, like in life or sports or just... Um, I didn't ask a question. Yeah, there wasn't a rubric. Um, <laughs> hot takes. Okay, you, you go first. Why? Because it's... She submitted it to you. She said, hi, Peyton. She didn't say, hi, Peyton. Cam. She That's said, hi, Peyton. She did say, hi, Peyton. So um, shout out to Kat. A hot take. Spicy food is um, it's unnecessary. Wrong. I like spicy food. My hot take. Honey Bunches of Oats is not an old people cereal. Oh, that's that's a regular take. I feel like everybody should agree on that. Thank you. Oh, Burn in no. hell. <laughs> <laughs> she said pineapples belong on pizza. <laughs> What's another one? Wait, wait, let me explain my spicy food thing because I don't want it to be people be like, like, think it's like a, a bad thing. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? People would like clip that and then be like, he okay, hates people. Go. So I just think like, I don't understand being uncomfortable when you eat. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I'm eating something, that's for me to be happy yeah. or fulfill me. And so I don't understand like having to do that while I'm eating. I don't want that. 
Don't I ever mean, do that ever again. <laughs> um, or scary movies, unnecessary. No, scary movies is a whole, it's a whole experience. I have enough angst by myself. I don't need to be sitting there sweating through a two-hour film. Sk- I mean, spicy food. Spicy and hot are different. Spicy. Uh, I like a good spice. Like hot, I'm all for. Mm-hmm. I can do hot, but spice where it's like hot is like. It hits you and it's like a physical heat, but spice is like a lingering. Mm-hmm. Th- it's like constantly there. It's like really messing with you. I mean, no, I'm not going to switch, actually. I'm not going to get on your side. I, I enjoy hot and spicy foods, okay. so you're wrong. You know what I like to do with my Takis? That's the only spicy thing I'll eat. What I do with my Takis is basically when I, I buy them from the gas station, I open them up and I just leave them on the counter for two and a half hours. A stale Takis is really good. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. Try it. Try it at home. Get, go get go Do to the store right that. now. Go to Don't the Takis. Open them up. Leave it on the counter for two and a half hours. Do not try that. I'm very nervous about talking about food because I don't want y'all to talk about my refrigerator. I already hinted at it once. Yeah, but don't t- don't say what's in it. Yeah, yeah she put it in my regular garbage. Yeah, we threw. I mean, it should have been on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> it should have. Um, so that's the great video submission from Kat. Thank you so much. If you want to send a video submission, go to my Instagram at PSHA. You have to be following me for it to be on the podcast. Oh, God. Here, as long as you don't spit on the carpet. <laughs> rug. I can't believe rug. I did that. I can't believe I keep calling it carpet. Um, okay. Last topic here. I feel like I'm alone on this one and I'm scared. Do you talk to yourself? Oh, God. <laughs> um... Uh, the fact that I'm thinking about it's bad. No. I talk to myself often. Like, I might share a thought with myself in, in my head, but I'm never uh-huh. like, oh, should we do this? You know, I don't, I don't mean like I just like out loud. I'm like, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, good. You know what I mean? It's just like what I do is, <laughs> please don't. Good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> please don't judge me. But what I do is I make up conversations in my head, like preparing for something that, a conversation that might happen. You know what I mean? Like if I'm in this situation... That is called ultra anxiety. Really? Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, if you're having to prep yourself. No, no, no. It's not like a prep thing. No, it's prepping. No, no, no. You it'll literally be- said, I make up conversations. To prepare and prepare is a certain, f- I don't know, the. I, don't know, I can't say the perfect one, but to prepare is preparation. No, but I'm saying and like. you said this word, and now I'm saying the same word in a different tense, and you're saying it's not that. But I'm not saying like. You I, are preparing for I'm, conversation. It's not only when there's like something happening. Like it could be a random Tuesday and be like, mm, what if I'm in this situation? Like how would that conversation go? And then I'll be like, literally like in my That's head. It's preparing. Whatever. <laughs> so it'll be like, I'll be like this, like saying this, and then they say that, and I'm like, oh, this would be a good response. But I'm not saying, I'm just going through the conversation. And then the only time I audibly make a noise is when I say something funny in my head. And so I'll just be like, <laughs> you know <laughs> You're just sitting there. <laughs> no, that's, yeah, you're on your own on that one, buddy. The most I ever do is, like, if I'm by myself, I will, um, I'll just, you know, sing. Like, I, I can hit a little lyric or two and sing, but that's about it. Ashlyn, take that mic right there. Ashlyn talks to herself, but you talk to yourself, right? But you do it a little, a little different. How do you talk to yourself? We on? Yep. Oh, I talk to myself, you know, mostly I do it in the gym. I'm not gonna lie. But do you <laughs> talk to yourself in the, the head? Do you talk okay. to yourself in the out head? Out loud, out loud. Oh. Like, but, okay, if you have, if you go to the gym, you know, and if you're a girl, you have your AirPods in, you know, and I'm like, okay, like, I'm going to go grab this weight. Da, da, da. It Just kind of like talking myself through, especially if there's a lot of dudes in the area. One, it makes them to where they won't talk to me. Two, I'm just like. Let's go grab this plate. So we're gonna you, go so here. We're going to do this. Time out. People think I'm on FaceTime. Yeah. So did you... Okay. Would you deem that as a normal thing for you? Or you developed that through a defense mechanism to be left alone in the gym? Ooh. I don't think you only do it so in the gym. So on the first thought, I think, by the way she said that, majority of it is in the gym. So I'm yes. going to assume it's number two. It just became a habit. You know, you're like, wow, I can really get in and out and not be bothered if I do this. Okay. So due to that, did you, I don't know if you asked this or not in one of your Q and A's. Why are you pointing at me? But, sorry, that wasn't great. <laughs> like, but is there a proper way for a male, you did ask this, I didn't, didn't ask this, but, but we can talk asked. about it. We can talk about it. Is there a proper way for a male to approach a woman in the gym? 
I doesn't happen to me. I have no clue. I have my forever gym partner. We're locked in. If a man approaches but a ran- me, how how would you accept a random man approaching you in the or what's the correct way? If he approached me after I finished with my set, or if I'm drinking my water, or like if I'm walking somewhere, sure. But mid set, no, don't talk to me. Okay, hopefully don't they have enough. De- okay, that's obvious. If they come up to you in the middle, you're literally Th- repping some mountain. They're like, hey, that's happened. <laughs> hey, how that's are happened. you? Okay, well, had, that's disgusting. I've had guys be like, how many more do you got? I'm the mid mid set. I'm like, oh, I got like four more. Yeah. And they're like, oh, can I get can I get your snap? Can I get your number? That's and it's like, no, that's yeah, crazy. I'm like talking crazy. about what is disrespect, what's annoying, and then what's appropriate. Like, do they, mm-hmm. is it cliche to, hey, you know, I've seen you coming to the gym, what, no, da, 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 or whatnot, and how, where are you, who do you, who are you? Like, to break out in a whole regular conversation that you would have at, like, a bar scene, but in the middle of the gym when you're sweating, mm-hmm. trying to get something done, is it disrespectful if they come up and they, they know you're trying to get something done, so they get straight to the point, you're like, hey, I see you, you look great. I just thought I'd let you know that. Do, do you Leading with you look great, is that's a power move. That's very powerful. But I think so, too. I think it's, it's like better to just get go in, point. get straight to the point, just be like, hey, like I thought you looked good. Um, I want to get to know you more. If you're comfortable with it, can I get your number or whatever Cause you're no okay matter, with? Because no matter like how nice or whatever their conversation is, if it's long, that's the only thing that's in your mind. This man's oh, literally yeah, talking in like, my ear dang, off and like, I'm wasting my, this, my time. Like five minutes my heart resting. rate has now <laughs> yeah. dropped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I haven't no, been that, to the gym in like two years. But disrespectful would be like, <sighs> I don't know. I, I find it very weird when guys just stare at the gym. I'd rather you come up and talk to me than, than just, just stare, stare like- from 35 feet away? Yeah. The last time I, 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 you know, I have a hard time going up to girls. You've, you've tried to coach me into going up to somebody before. Like it, it takes a, a while. I think there's a good time to coach me on, on how to, how to do that. Because the last time I went up to a girl, I said, Hey, do you have a number or a boyfriend? Oh, that's golden. Dude, honestly, that might be the best way, though. Like, just a funny mess up showing you're, like... Human? Yeah, like, yeah. Off, out the gate. But people try to, like, set me up for failure. They're like, bro, just go up to her and flip your TikTok at her. I'm like, what? Like, that's, that's ass. Like, yeah. I would never do that. That's sick. That's no. sick. You don't want somebody that wants you for clout. No. No, yeah, no. But I'm, I'm out of the game. I got mine. I was... Mm. Let us know in the comments. Go, I just go. How was work, babe? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Let us know in the comments how a woman should a, how should a woman approach a man? Oh, Don't I know. got this Couldn't one. T- you're talking about in life, or you talking about in ooh, life? I've done ooh, it once. Ooh, such a once. good topic. Thank you so much for bringing this up. Oh, I'm gonna. You, are you sick? No, your hands you are clammy. I'm sweaty. <laughs> no, Cam, <laughs> come here. I need your reaction to this. Um. This is the, <laughs> oh shit. This is like my number one pet peeve whenever like, I, oh, I'm always appreciative if a girl wants to shoot a shot at me. I like that when girls make the first move, it's my favorite thing. But when a girl tries to slide in my DMs and like in my basketball era, the number one thing that I like disliked was like when they would say, I can beat you one-on-one. Oh. I can dunk on you. I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> get out of here. Delete. Yeah. It's, it's, and then now the number one thing is like, Ooh, we should go on a date so I can be in one of your stories. And I'm like, ah, don't bring up the TikTok. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like me for me. Yeah, it's like. Don't like me because I play basketball. It, don't like me because I'm on TikTok. Yeah. Like me for Peyton. But the, I like, I just like a straightforward, like, hey, I think you're attractive. Like, what's popping? I'm like, ooh. And then if she says she works at 7 <laughs> Eleven, oh, oh my God. God. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the <laughs> You Should Know podcast. No slip shoes. Um, <laughs> Plus two. You need a word. Uh, oh, what was the thing you code. said at the beginning? It was like BBJ. 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 That sounds weird. Big boy job. Big boy job is the uh, the code. Spam it on my Instagram. Spam it on the TikTok. Spam Confuse it on the, the comments. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I got, thank you again for 10,000. <laughs> I'm so tired. Thank you, we guys. Need a speech therapy lesson. I need a lot of lessons. Uh, yeah. Well, God, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Feel the, while you're there. Nope. Okay. Nope. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Thank you for watching this episode of the You Should Know podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the secret code is BBJ. So hit that subscribe button. Join the Discord below. Follow me on Instagram at PSH8. And remember, one out of 10 koala bears. Don't make it home to Christmas. I'll see you next time. <laughs>